The next challenge for the Roman army is going to be the Siege of Carthage. Now the Roman units having just come off their ships are going to be mixed in, there's no formation, they're charging off their ships and directly into the city. And the first thing that they are going to meet is they're going to meet some Carthage cavalry. That, I don't know why, that sounds nice. Carthage cavalry. Weirdly, they've all decided that instead of sitting on their horses, they're going to stand on them. Let's, uh, let's see how that goes. Sure. Behind them, we've got an actual elephant here with a guy who is... Wow, bro, are you okay? Welcome to Tabs. And then dotted throughout the map, we've got more Carthage spearmen, we've got spear throwers. But are they going to be good enough to defend Carthage against the Romans? Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's see how good the cavalry... Wow, wow, I don't understand how every single... Watch this, watch this horse, watch this horse. He's gonna melt on impact like butter. He's gonna fold like a piece of paper. Just you watch, just you watch. Tell you what, why do I... Ever even try and commentate the, the one unit that I said was gonna melt and fold is the is the only unit that's still alive. There we go. He's finally dead. Oh my god, the elephant's in. Let's see what this guy does. Again, rider still somehow magically stuck in the chair. How strong is this elephant unit going to be? Is it is it dead already? Okay, well, there's your answer. Not very strong. Let's see. Tell you what, the Romans are actually holding on to a little bit of an advantage here as they come in off this pier. Let's do a little bit of a zoom out, bird's eye view here, get an idea of just how these guys are doing on the battlefield. I'll tell you what, they're doing pretty well. They're doing quite well, but you can see there's Carthage units just dribbling in from all over this map. Their biggest issue might just be these spear throwers, because look how many, well, look how many spears these spear throwers are throwing. Oh, actually, I was totally wrong. I think Carthage have actually bagged this in the center here. The Romans are retreating. They're down to almost just spear throwers and archers. Let's see what this Carthage spearman can do. Let's see what he's made of. Let's test his mech. Oh, oh my god, Every everyone I look at, I should just stop looking at units, because everyone I look at just dies immediately. This is a pretty scary formation of Carthage. Yeah, oh, I don't know though, I don't know, this could still go either way. Then again, there's quite a lot more Carthagian units. Yeah, let's have a quick zoom out once again, a quick zoom out. These guys, once again, in the last battle, they didn't make it past the gates, and in this battle, they've not made it out the harbor. I mean, look at this, that's a pretty pitiful effort, if you ask me. What Watch them win now. What, what are you doing? Oh, he's going for a next level play, boys. He's going round. No, he's not. He's doing a dance. He's doing a TikTok dance. Surely this guy can't survive much longer. He's literally on his own and he's not even holding his shield. Oh, is that going to hit him? Oh, wow. I don't believe... Tell you what, that's an expert strategy, boys. Hide in the, hide in the lighthouse. Get in there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Mm, yeah. An ancient firing line. There we go. It's not going well for the Romans. Can this Gallic fortress stop the Roman army? The level of detail in this is incredible. They've even got these posts that kind of just like, I don't know, they kind of come out from the wall a little bit, giving them the ability to just throw spears in down at the Romans. They've got a couple of men making their way to the front line, as well as all the civilians coming out from their village huts. Also, don't forget the spearmen do have chicken hats. Now, the Roman Empire are gonna start off by sending in their short units. These guys don't have shields. They'll then be followed up by, is that a child soldier? Then behind them, we've got a couple more veteran units. You see, these guys now have shields. Then we've got a catapult, I think appears to be firing himself. And then we've got a bunch of Praetorians at the back and then the emperor and his bodyguards right at the end. Pretty well-rounded Roman army attacking this fortress. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start the battle. Do these? Yes, they do. They throw their spears down and we've got the first victims of the day. Let's see. The battle is about to commence at the front gates here. Oh, hold on a second. Did I just see an explosion? Oh no, I think it was a catapult. Okay, it was a catapult. Look at this though. A proper brawl by the front gates and actually, oh, hold on a second. These guys have somehow got loose. I'm not entirely sure how they've done that. And also, what was that ballista bolt? The ballista bolt shoots crossbows. Interesting. Okay, what's happened out front here is it looks like the Roman Chod has been massacred, and now the Romans are down to their Praetorians and the Emperor fighting for his life in here. Can they actually get through these defenses? I'm not sure. I'll tell you what, the Romans are looking thin on the ground through here. They've taken down those last couple of Gallic units there, although look at this. Some stolen Roman equipment right there. Can they take him down? Okay, we got Romans all around him. Yeah, he's going down. Let's see. Can the Roman spear throwers and ranged units take these guys down? Can these guys throw spears down? Yes, they can, 
Oh, but was he aiming for me? Bruh. Black catapult could do something. Oh, down he goes. Okay, so the Romans might stand a chance after all. Oh, spears. Yeah, okay, sorry, I was I was so wrong. Wow, I don't think I've ever been so wrong in my life. Looks like Goal is surviving to fight another day. One single Praetorian against the Chief. It's literally a high ground Anakin versus Obi-Wan Kenobi scenario. Oh no, come on, boys, come on. Let's, let's make this a dramatic end to the... Wow. This Viking fortress looks sick. Oh my god. Okay, so you come in through here. No way. Hold on. Can you get inside? You can also get inside the wall. The whole way. Just about. I mean, I'm having a... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> You've then got to make your way round here past this little barricade. And then you make your way through this compound. And then, and only then, do you make your way up to this main circle area. Okay, so here is what we've done for the Danish Vikings. We've got archers on the wall. These these guys might even sally forth and try and cross the bridge themselves. They will be getting reinforced by more axemen and spearmen. We've got the second tier of defenses. And then when they finally get all the way back here, we've got two Danish Jarls, I guess. Or no, they're just heavy axemen, let's call them, because the Jarl is going to be this guy at the back who, in fact, he looks suspiciously like a king. So we're just going to call him a king and we'll call the other guys Jarls. There we go, problem solved. Now it's time to put down the Roman army. So for the Roman army, behind each of these these fortifications we've got archers and we've got spear throwers we've also got two massive catapults uh this guy however <laughs> this guy on the ballista as well i don't really know what he's doing to be honest yes that's how you operate a ballista then as you can see we've got a bunch of roman infantry with no swords but shields no those are not shields those are this roman infantry has got swords and not shields and they're gonna be charging over the center into the fortress i'll tell you what the most important thing is oh those cat Catapults immediately destroying the archers on top. They better get as many shots off as quickly as they can. Oh, the ballista's getting him as well now. It's pretty savage. Okay, what's happening here? One of the archers falling off the side and being sent to his death. Goodbye. The pathfinding, for the most part, seems to work pretty well here, though. Oh my god, what was that team kill? No, actually, the pathfinding is working relatively well. The guys are pretty comfortably making their way over the center. I'm actually pretty concerned about those catapults because any second now. The Praetorians are in there. It's their most valuable units. And yeah, excellent work, everyone. Excellent work. Come on, let's see. Can they get over without getting team killed? That's the question. They just need those stay banners to die. There we go. They're moving in now, which means they'll now be killed by the catapults, allowing the Romans to actually enter this fortress. Wow. That is one way to die. That's actually hurting my eyes a little bit. Uh, demonetized question mark? I'm not entirely sure. Let's take a bird's eye view here. We've still got two Roman catapults and a ballista and a bunch of infantry stuck in that gap. What do we reckon, lads? Can this Praetorian take down all of these units? I'm not particularly hopeful, if I'm honest. I'll tell you what, he's doing, he's doing a lot. He's doing a lot better than I thought he would. Oh, see you later, sunshine. Well, this guy's caught in a little bit of a situation, isn't he? Oh, tell you what, he's going for it. Let's see what he can do. Tell you what, and there's no way he's taking down all these Roman spear throwers. And that's more of a question than a statement, to be honest, because it looks like he might actually get the job done. No, there we go. He, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Okay, I'm gonna kill all the stay banners because they're slowing down the battle. Arrows to the head. There we go. Do you reckon that's enough? And then we're also gonna come down here with a push ability, and we're gonna make these guys join the- Oh my god, that might have been a little bit too much. Whoa, I didn't see this happening here. I'll tell you what, one Praetorian's made it and he's dead. Excellent. Oh, did he just free all these halberds? He did as well. The halberds are about to join the battle. Uh, and there's a Praetorian there. There's a Praetorian there to meet them. Is it the Praetorian's dead? This one guy might genuinely do it. Please, somebody kill him. I'm actually begging you. How is he not dead? There we go. Oh, is it gonna be a kill for a kill? I don't believe that arrow missed him. Move those legs, soldier. Come on, pump those legs, pump those legs. And he's missed his shot and okay he's fumbled he's fu oh 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 wow tabs melee combat is so anticlimactic sometimes He's taken, there we go, on the fourth swing he finally got the job done. Can I just finish this battle in style? 
Oh my god, I don't believe that actually hit now. I'm yet to finish my Battle of Thermopylae map, but whoever made this map has done a pretty good job. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the Romans versus the Spartans alternative history. The Romans are going to start down there and they're going to make their way all the way up to the hot gates where they're going to fight back the Spartan hoplites. Okay, so this is what we're doing for the Spartan formation. It's a choke point and for some reason I've left a little bit of a, a little bit of side access here just because, I don't know, why not? Now for the Romans, let's just do like a massive charge. Let's just see. Let's just, let's just see because this could lag. This could lag badly. Also, you know, I don't know why this happens. You know when you start a battle and it just throws you into outer space? Okay, it lags a little bit too much for my liking. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of those units and to make sure the points match, we'll use a more expensive unit. So, that looks a little bit more like it. So, this is going to be the Roman formation. As you can see at the top, the points are pretty much matched. Let's begin the battle. Again, it's just gonna launch me into outer space. Okay, the Romans are making their way up the hill, or at least most of them are. These guys are definitely gonna drown three two one goodbye goodbye okay let's see we should probably be watching this massive attack of roman soldiers on the spartan position they've made a gap in the wall and one guy's left the formation what were you thinking this is actually gonna be pretty savage actually this is gonna be interesting to see how this works surely the spartans are gonna win this because these guys are dribbling in really really slowly but a pretty cool look on screen right here not gonna lie why does this remind me of ultimate epic battle simulator i mean i'm not gonna lie i'm seeing more red than i am blue. Let's get a bird's eye view. Yeah, the bird's eye view looks even more like a Roman victory here. I don't know. It's hard to tell. The Spartans are slowly falling back here, but they're pretty dense. I think like the, the, the Roman shields, because they're so big, it makes it look like there's more of them than there are. So it's actually really hard to tell who's winning. A Spartan rally out of nowhere. Yeah, the Roman shields. I forget because even when they die, obviously the bodies remain. So you just see a wall of red. It looks like they're winning, but the Spartans have taken the dub and I've just spotted some Something very, very unfortunate in the distance. That is not a soldier I would like to be. Tell you what, he's got balls of steel walking in there, lads. I, <laughs> I mean, I don't envy this guy. Not one bit. How much? Oh my god. Well then, that was pretty, pretty expected, wasn't it? I'm enjoying this a lot. Oh no. I think, no, they won't drown. No, no, no. They're good. They're good. Yeah, no, nah, they're good. They're good. They're not just good. They're great. Those guys are getting hacked to pieces. Ripperoni, boys. How is that guy still alive? They're there we go. He's just been smashed in the face with a shield. There we go. So, can the Praetorians do it? I wonder if these guys can get the job done. I mean, that is quite a horrifying sight. What are you doing? Tell you what, that guy's about to... Oh my god. To be fair, you've got to respect the effort. You've got to respect the effort. Not entirely sure it was your smartest job. I mean, brave men do tend to die after all. Okay, let's see what the Praetorians can do. They are breaking formation. The Spartans are breaking formation pretty quickly here, but let's see. And yeah, no, I think these Praetorians are doing much worse than the last Romans were. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's becoming pretty apparent to me that I think I'm just pretty bad at commentary. I think the Spartans, yeah, the wall of blue. The Romans have gone down again. I'm I'm not sure if there's anything they can do. I mean, that guy's just getting ground and pound in the corner here. Uh, not sure how much longer. Let's see what's coming for him. Good luck with that, mate. I've also just realized these guys don't even have shields. Also, look at the armor. Is it just me or have they got like actual swag? Look at the armor. It's like they're like rotating their shoulders as they they go like <laughs> dun, 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 dun. oh my god one guy's made a crippling error why does one of them always just sacrifice their life i don't understand what did you gain from that you killed nobody oh god here we go one by one they're just gonna dribble in and get slaughtered tell you what these guys do a lot of damage and pretty quickly maybe maybe tell you what okay hold on before this battle starts i'm gonna give you my prediction i think they're gonna based on how quickly they did damage there i'm gonna back them i'm gonna say they're gonna win this i'm gonna say they're gonna win this i'm, I'm not sure what that's really based on and i'm i could be Proven, I th uh, no, I'm wrong. I'm so wrong. I'm so very wrong. I'm so very, very, very wrong. They've been slaughtered. They didn't stand a chance. I can't believe you thought they were gonna win. That's really embarrassing. I, I, I knew the Spartans were gonna win. I can't believe you, you actually thought they were gonna win. That's pretty tragic, guys. Yeah, you'll see. These guys have got. I mean, they're small, but they've got legs. They're rapid. Look at this. This is a little bit more like it. Let's see what happens here. Again, a little bit of blur motion there, but the formation has been absolutely savagely destroyed here. How many of them? 
actually died on impact and how many of them were just moved out of formation. Tell you what, a lot of them died on impact there. Incredibly, the donkey cavalry has done the job. I, I never thought I'd see the day, like genuinely. They, oh, no, 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 no. Once again, my commentary skills fail me. Once again, my commentary skills have cripplingly failed me and the Spartans are winning a pretty decisive victory. Yep, um, one of these, you'd think after like three years as a YouTuber, um, you'd think I'd be able to like do my job, but uh, you'd be wrong. You'd be very, very wrong. So, um, I don't know, take that for what you will. <laughs> excellent work there, lad. It's excellent work. That was um, splendid. How is he not dead yet? Bro, if he actually, no. So, if you enjoyed that, subscribe. See you next time.